Are you one of those, who thinks that cafe racers are only fashion? If this is your case, you will have to watch this video. Because sometimes, things are not exactly as they seem. For instance, what if I told you, that pedestrian crossings were invented 500 years ago? It sounds untrue. Right? And it is. Because in reality, the first pedestrian crossings, are more than 2000 years old. You can find them in Italy, at the city of Pompeii. The similarities with modern pedestrian crossings, are simply astonishing. This demonstrates, that sometimes things are not quite as we thought they were. And that is precisely what I am going to demonstrate, about the cafe racer scene. Welcome to Racer TV. I have read some comments saying that this rebirth of cafe racer motorcycles is only fashion and that it will end as fast as it started. In a way, and from a commercial perspective, that sounds about right. Because very recently, you can see vintage influences, in every area of life. But in what concerns to cars and motorcycles, things are much more complex. If I remember correctly, the appearance of the retro or classic blends, began 23 years ago, with the presentation of the new Volkswagen Beetle, in 1994. In my opinion, this was probably one of the biggest factors, that started the fascination with the vintage influence. Six years after the Beetle, the new generation of the Mini, was introduced. And after that, it was only a matter of time, for others to follow in the same steps. In what concerns to motorcycles, I believe that the rebirth of cafe racers started in 1998. When Ducati presented a sketch of the MH900, the crowd went crazy. And Ducati found the huge potential, of this retro appearance. Since that day, several manufacturers have launched new models, with some retro classic influence. But the appearance of the Moto Guzzi V7 racer, is also a very important moment. Because it brought about a huge curiosity, about the background of the cafe racer scene, and consequently, the birth of several custom-made projects. So, getting back to the main question. Are cafe racers only a mere fashion statement? To be honest, I think they are precisely the opposite, of what fashion stands for. If fashion was a good thing, it would not have to change every year. And that is almost what happens, with most modern motorcycles. They simply get old, as soon as a new model is launched. But when we look to cafe racers, they still look cool, even after more than 10 years. And this is one of their biggest advantages. They are as timeless, as a true classic motorcycle. But with the advantage of looking cooler. In fact, they look so cool, that even people who don't know anything about motorcycles, simply like them. Especially when the Cafe Racer project, is based on an old retro machine. I see it as a natural evolution, that has been growing during the last 20 years. As Coco Chanel said once, fashion fades, only style remains the same. And that is exactly what I see in this Cafe Racer rebirth. A style of motorcycles, that came to stay. Thank you, 
for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.